Hi, this is Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and today I'm going to show you how you can color in doodles and digital stamps using your digital scrapbook papers. So I've created a 12 by 12 document, 300 PPI. I'm in Photoshop Elements 9, but this tutorial will work in other versions of Elements as well as in Photoshop CS. I've also opened a cupcake from my digital stamps birthday collection and then two papers from the surprise party add-on which is part of the birthday wishes collection. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my cupcake into my main document. If you have an early version of Elements you'll need to double click on the cupcake and drag it down to get it into your document without it becoming a smart layer. So once I've got that in, let me zoom in now so we can see this a little bit better. The steps are going to be the same if you just wanted to color this with color fills and then we'll add a step when we clip the papers to it. So I'm going to start with my magic wand. I want to make sure that the contiguous box is checked and that I'm on my cupcake layer. And I'm just going to click inside of where the frosting is. I'm going to zoom in a couple more so you can see that that's not quite, it's following the edge but there's kind of a gap so we want to expand our selection by going to select, modify, expand and we just need to go a couple pixels so we'll just say three. Now you can see it's overlapping that black line. I want to create a layer below, so I'll hold control and then click on my new layer icon and that'll pop a layer below and then I'm just going to hit alt backspace to fill that with whatever color is sitting here in my color swatch and then control D to deselect. Then I'm going to go back to my cupcake layer and this time select inside where the wrapper is. Go to select modify expand click OK and again create a new layer below by holding control and clicking on the new layer icon and alt backspace to fill that layer as well and control D to deselect. Now we'll pull in our papers because I have the wrapper layer selected I'm going to pull in my stripes paper first And then I'm going to hit Control G to clip that layer to the fill that I created just a couple of seconds ago. And then I'm going to select my cupcake layer to pull in my pink paper. Hit Control G to clip it and that will clip the paper to the frosting layer. So now I'm going to zoom out so you can see that we have the doodle for our cupcake still, but we filled the frosting with a textured paper that pink and we've done the stripe on the bottom for the wrapper. You could also choose to change the color of the doodles outline. This one's black right now. I could create a new layer below, above, hit control G to clip it and then what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit, grab my eyedropper tool and select this brown and then click on my color chip and make it darker. Click OK and then alt backspace to fill and that's going to change my fill color to a brown that matches better with the cupcake versus the black. Then you could either merge all of these layers together by selecting all of them holding shift and hitting control E so they're all one layer or if you still wanted to be able to play with some of the options you could just select all of the layers and click on your link icon so as you move it around it stays the same. So that's how you color in your doodles and digital stamps with your textured papers from your digital scrapbook supply. If you have any questions, you can email me, suzyqscraps at gmail.com or visit my website, suzyqscraps.com. Thanks.